What's going on champs and champettes, it's Monkey here, and recently IGN did an interview with Seth MacFarlane, who is the creator of Family Guy and the voice of Peter Griffin, and he was talking about the whole entire Fortnite collaboration, but one of the interesting things he mentioned there is why in Fortnite, if we go to our locker and everything else and we actually look up Peter Griffin, we got a buff version of Peter instead of his normal version you typically see in the show. This is what he had to actually say about that. Peter Griffin is a yeah. boss on the map, and he's very hard to He's very see. muscular in there, yes. right? Yeah. I was told that, like, they didn't have the budget to create his actual body, so they had to, like, stick his head on, uh... So it was like that TV Guide cover from the 90s where they put Oprah's head on Anne margarets body. Yeah, exactly. Anybody remember that? It was... But yeah, it's a very interesting thing that he's actually mentioning here, where apparently Epic Games didn't have the budget for normal Peter Griffin, and this does bring up a lot of questions like, okay, but what if the normal version of the body or whatever else just wouldn't fit into the Fortnite aesthetic? You know, what if it didn't fit the hitbox properly or whatever else? But it does bring up something very interesting. Is this just a joke, or is this a serious thing, where Epic Games was like, hey, you know, during negotiations, we weren't unable to get the normal version of Peter Griffin actually released into the game, and is that the reason why it took like multiple years for us to actually get Peter Griffin in Fortnite, despite all the leaks constantly being like, hey, this is something that would be happening in the near future. Now, personally for me, I think that this is a little bit of just a joke and not like a serious thing. Maybe there was a lot of discussion going on behind the scenes regarding making Peter Griffin's normal body as a Fortnite character, and maybe that's why it took so long, but if we go over here to Snooty Steps, where we actually have the Peter Griffin boss, we will actually see something that kind of de-invalidates this claim or whatever. Now, when I actually showed to you guys, you could mention, Oh, you know, they couldn't pay for it to actually be a playable character, which you buy in the item shop, but maybe they could pay for it to be something that, you know, was a little structure on the map or whatever else. And that is because over by Peter Griffin, there's actually a statue of his normal version of the body, right? So it's not like they couldn't get the normal version of the body in the game at all, because it does exist and you can find it in the game. However, it is not in the normal skin form. But, you know, this tweet I went ahead and posted on Twitter the other day regarding the whole interview ended up getting 24,000 likes and 2.3 thousand retweets you know a lot of quote retweets and stuff of people kind of discussing this and I thought I'd bring the discussion over here to YouTube as well to figure out what you guys think do you think Epic Games had a little bit of a budgeting issue where they just weren't able to actually get the normal body version as a playable skin because you know the other company or whatever wanted a very high amount for it in Fortnite or do you think it's just like a little bit of a joke that the producers and stuff had when they were actually explaining to Seth MacFarlane what Fortnite actually is because according to his interview he had no clue what Fortnite was he was like under a rock or something and you know they had to explain it to him and he was like oh that's really cool you know it's interesting to see Peter Griffin in Fortnite. Now firstly I'm going to be pretty honest I actually don't know where this statue is located in game I just am aware that it is here on the island so I thought you know we'd go over to Peter Griffin boss try fighting him and hopefully that would take us to the statue location but of course I can't be 100% accurate being like oh it's going to be at this specific spot so if you're watching this video beforehand you might be sitting there in a spot where you're like fire monkey why are you stalling so much to show the island already when that is not something I can actually do because I'm gonna be honest I don't really know where the exact statue location is so I thought you know let's just go ahead and start off by eliminating Peter Griffin himself getting ourselves the shotgun here and then continuing to continue our journey around the island in order to find the statue but I assume it's got to be in this location since that's where Peter himself is so I assume if we were right there then you know most likely it's got to be somewhere like towards the other side the entrance of this building either that or I'm just gonna go insane right watch it be on the other side of the island entirely I would add absolutely hate that so what well, uh, hi there bot how are you doing I, I was not expecting you here um all right you know i'll just go ahead and quickly eliminate you the tier collector was that the binding of isaac reference or something and we're at the front can i find the statue anywhere wait 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 hold on i might actually have to google this i i am sorry i thought it was be right over here by peter griffin but i can't actually see it anywhere nearby so maybe it's like lower down there in the village or something hold on one second while i go look up where to actually go for this location all right i looked it up and apparently it is over here but it's a little bit down here right it's a little bit in the downwards area and it's not as big as i was expecting to be so it's going to be a little bit of a smaller statue that you know is kind of just like a water fountain type of thing but we will be able to find it. it's kind of like in between the two o's of snoo so we just kind of got to keep that in mind as we go down here but we will be able to see what is a normal body version of Peter Griffin in Fortnite despite this claim that oh you know they couldn't afford the normal body of Peter so as you can see right there you can tell that that is definitely not the buff Peter we have in Fortnite but it does beg the question of if Seth MacFarlane was telling the truth and this wasn't just a joke then what if it meant that you know they couldn't sell this as a skin because they couldn't afford it but they could use it as a prop on the island or something because they could afford it that way overall though I personally 
personally think that, you know, mainly it was just Seth MacFarlane joking about the whole entire collaboration, you know, just saying some stuff for the interviewer, but I would love to hear in the comments down below what everyone else thinks, and with that said, hope you champs and champions enjoyed today's smaller little video talking about some random Fortnite news. Until next time, I'll catch you champs and champettes a little bit later. Peace out.